So here's another test of the coil. Chances of me hitting the grid is pretty low because it's like 30 feet. Unless it actually works better because it is a little bit tuned. So I shall turn off the lights. As the coil is running. And see what happens and hope I don't hit anything besides the grid. Should only come out the breakout, not anywhere else. But. Six volts at about four amps and hardly any power at all. Maybe a little bit more uh, frequency. reason for the um, interrupter is because without it my interrupter is getting feedback which destroys its output. As for output length, 
we were hitting the grid, which was about uh, 39 inches of sparks. It's a little over three foot. And my goal is to at least get four foot, which should be easily possible because that was not half even. It was a little bit over half power. About 76 volts in doing 36 inches. With my crappy top load, which does work. Luckily, I was not arcing to these lights, which were about three feet away from the top load. Otherwise, simply grounded grid. Nothing special. Primary does now have a grounding ring to it. It used to not. And that is our new primary tap. So when I was doing the variable frequency, the maximum amp draw I was getting was about 8 amps at the most at 70 volts. The wires on this thing are, I believe, number 8, and they are not too bad. Primary is fine. Secondary is obviously fine because that's 24 aug coil. As for the internals, heat sink reads at about 81 degrees, 80 degrees, and that's where the um, IGBT, which is a CM300, is connected to. The capacitors, which are computer grade, are 82. The rectifier, no surprise, is about 101 degrees, 100 degrees. Everything else in the board though is fine on temperature. Nothing's getting too warm. Box is obviously room temperature. I think room temperature is 78 degrees. And that was running this without its cooling fan because so far I'm not pushing anything near enough to overheat this 11 inch heat sink. So the coil runs good. Besides, it's very crappy finished uh, poly. So thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll get four foot to retrieve my cash for doing this beta testing for um, Eastern Voltage Research.